Welcome back, this is Yamachak, and today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. And I forgot to upload the Serenity SMP video yesterday. It's done, it's recorded, I just forgot to upload it. So I'll probably upload it tomorrow, I'm guessing. We'll see. I'm working on the, uh, the single player. The single player episode 5 is going up on Monday. And I've already invested, like, probably... 40 hours into this episode uh, I built like basically nothing so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day tomorrow uh, <laughs> playing Minecraft to, to finish up the recording I'm nearly done with the episode but it has been a huge time sink for me over the past week um, well not just the past week because I was recording the uh, Serenity SMP before that, so it's it's, it's been it's, this episode for the single player let's play has been a huge time sink. It's I took on a very very big dumb project. I uh, I decided to build we're building a, a labyrinth in the single player world, and uh, I decided it's time to start building the second layer of the labyrinth. So it's like an entire new floor expansion, which is like a ton of work on its own. Um, just because I have to like add a lot of pathways and stuff to make it even reasonable to like get down there and um, back up and all this kind of stuff. And then I was also like, hey, I've never built with nether quartz before. Why don't we just, um, you know, make this floor out of basically exclusively nether quartz? And if you don't know um, Minecraft very well, nether quartz, not a very easy material to get. So uh, the first floor is made out of uh, blackstone primarily and uh, shroom lights and... Uh, ice and, and basalt, all materials that are also kind of a pain in the butt to get. Um, the blackstone in particular is kind of frustrating, uh, and the trim lights are annoying. And then layer two is quartz, which is just a disaster. Um, so I'm like, yeah, okay, so the theme of this base is, uh, is not labyrinth. No, it's apparently I just hate myself, and I want to subject myself to endless torture. Because it's it's terrible. I'm having fun, but oh my god, I've 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 been digging for hours. It's uh, it's a big it's a big you know it's an ambitious project. I like it though. It's it's looking cool. We got a lot of cool stuff built in it. It's actually it's, it's I'm really proud of this base. It's it's probably my favorite base that I've ever made actually, and uh, it's only just getting started. So I'm excited to to see where it goes. I am, I, I really am. But uh, tomorrow is Sunday. We got uh, Dungeons and Dragons, another stressor. It's just, it's just all these points of stress in my life right now that are just like, hey, think about me, think about me. Do me, do me, you know? So I'm like, we got that at uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Um, I was, you know, kind of thinking I might stay up tonight to, uh, to like, get a bunch of labor done for the... <laughs> episode 5 to go up on Monday but I have to get up early to like get prepared for the um, D&D session it's just uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing in the D&D session so much my plan was uh, right now they're the group is in a uh, they're in a um, and I know a couple of the players actually watch Hello, by the way, if you're still watching. Um, I'm not going to spoil stuff too much. But, um, hello, where are you? So they're, they're currently in a, not like character arc situation. But uh, they're in like kind of a, like mini character arcs, you know, with, with some minor character backstory, a little bit of development perhaps. Um... Just, just uh, at the very least, I want to give them something that they have to think about from their character's know perspective. You know, it's not necessarily about developing their characters or about, um, you know, adding in a bunch of drama and like confronting their fears and like doing any of that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's just about um, throwing something at them where they have to like think. What does this mean? You know, what is happening? Who am I? What 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 are my like what are my motivations like all these things that that you want to get them thinking about, um, so that they can kind of get attached to those characters and, and see them as being a part of the world, you know. Um, so it's nothing super major, but 
it, it is definitely related to, to each of them. There's like all these trials that they each have to face. And um, right now we're on uh, Blue Star's trial. The the, the party is, is heading over to the uh, the forest marked by um, Blue Star's villages insignia, um, which I, I poorly drew, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, and uh, the the player who's playing Blue Star can't make it tomorrow. So I'm like, well, I don't want to go and do like their character's thing when they can't be there, because that's terrible, right? That's no good. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, so I'm like, oh my god, what do I? How do I even like? What do I do here? So I'm gonna have to to figure out some way to not divert the group, because I still want them going towards that character arc in next session when she is there. But uh, for right now, I just gotta find some kind of distraction for them for the for the next session, just to to keep them away from that, but but still engaged. And I'm like, I got currently not really any clue so much. So I gotta kind of think about that. Um, I don't like throwing in just like garbage filler because I can just like we, we can throw them. You know, they're in like a magical place. Anything can happen. I, I can throw them into a dungeon and have them just go through the dungeon and have like be like some kind of weird one shot kind of thing you know like that's that's possible of course but um you know i i want it to feel like it's planned right like that's that's kind of the goal with everything i don't plan much for from for D, &D um, but i want everything to feel like uh it was planned you know i want the characters and the players to, to feel like uh you know this was what was meant to happen you know, um, not like I forced them into it, but I, I want them to feel like uh, this is this this was expected or something. You know, I don't know. I'll I'll tell them it wasn't, but like in the moment, I don't want them feeling like oh, this kind of feels like you know, it's just it's just made to distract us. You know, this is this is just made as a as a side shoot. It's not this is nothing important. You know, I want them thinking that like this is relevant. This is part of the story that you are experiencing as your as your characters right and I don't really know how to handle that in this situation because uh, yeah I might, I might I might just end up throwing him in a dungeon you know so I, as long as I can figure out a good way to do it it's there's nothing wrong with it right as long as it's bad to do that um, I just right now they're heading over to blue star territory and I'm like yeah uh, blue star's not here right now um, can you, can you call again later? And I don't want to keep putting the session off, because, you know, if, if she can't make it to, like, a bunch of sessions, then, you know, well, I mean, at that point, we'll have to be like, hey, are you uh, really interested in playing? Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, at, at that point, we'll just, like, have to continue, because I can only take it off for so long, but, you know, chances are high that, that next time we play, uh, it'll it'll be somebody else who's not able to make it. I'll uh, if I have to choose between her or somebody else, I'll I'll pick her, so that we can you know carry on with the story. Of course. Um. Yeah, it's just another stressor in my life right now. So I'm like, I don't know. Wait, is it this? Is it this week? I think it is, right? Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh. It is indeed. Tomorrow, I would have totally put my day on a different day if it were. We may change it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think. So I'm, I'm looking at it now, and the times that we had to play, I, I could change it to Friday. We'd have the same amount of people. No, we wouldn't. I was good any day. This, yeah, no, okay. It's, it's tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow. I was looking at it wrong. I was looking at it wrong. Um, so we will be playing tomorrow. And uh, she just won't be there. Which kind of stinks, but... Again, I'll just have to I'll just have to figure something out, right? My god. I'll just have to figure something out. I can't talk about it too much. I have a few ideas I'd love to love to throw them at you. But like I said, I do have uh, 
I don't think they watch all of my videos, but I, they definitely pop in from time to time and watch one. I get I get friends on occasion being like, hey, about that thing you were talking about on video. I'm like, oh yeah, you're watching the videos, huh? Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, Bean Snake is coming soon. Yeah, I promise. Um, but I get to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything, right? I might just throw him in a dungeon, though. Could be fun. Have them conquer the dungeon. Maybe, uh, maybe the... I can't, I can't, I don't want to talk about the ideas, okay? I don't want to spoil nothing for the players who are watching. Okay, that's, that's, that's what it is. Instead, we'll talk about um, the King Flush Pound and why does he exist again? Does anyone want to explain to me why the King Flush Pound exists? I know he's coming up behind. I want out of the building. Why does he exist? Uh, him and the Abomination are just two bosses that kind of suck. I like him. The King Flush Pound. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the King Flush Pound. You know, but um, that's only because he's pathetically easy, and it kind of gets you, kind of gets you thinking, why do we need to have him if he's just pathetically easy? You know, why does he have to exist? And it's a question that I don't know the answer to. Uh, I believe the answer, however, is uh, that Tripwire decided that it would be fun, and uh, then they made it, and then I was like, no, nah, you were wrong. You were just, you were just wrong. It's it's just a boring fight. <laughs> it's just boring. It's just not fun. I like being challenged in uh, in games. I say as I play on the suicidal difficulty instead of the harder difficulty, willingly taking away the challenge. But you know when it comes to the boss fight, okay? You know, Here, you wanna you wanna let's 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 do something funky, okay? Do some funky. I'm gonna try Hell on Earth. Okay, maybe, maybe, am I a Hell on Earth girl now? Am I good enough? Dinner today was turkey burgers. Do you, like, do you guys like turkey burgers? I love turkey burgers. Toast of the bun with some garlic butter and a bit of bacon, fried egg. We didn't have any cheese. There was no cheese, unfortunately. Safety's off. The cheese definitely makes a, a large impact to the, the to the turkey burger experience, I would say. But unfortunately, there were uh, there was no cheese. We did not get to uh, enjoy any cheese today, but it was still it was still tasty. I still like the turkey burger. I don't I don't like beef burgers though. Strangely enough, I'm I'm not a beef burger kind of girl. I'm uh, I'm a turkey burger girl. I just uh, for me. The beef burgers just don't taste good, and the turkey burgers just kind of do. That's blasphemy. I, I get it. I get it. But uh, that's just how I feel, you know. I can't I can't change that. I didn't choose to be this way, okay? One day I ate a turkey burger and I was like, wow, this is good. And then another day I ate a beef burger and I'm like, yeah, no, it's just like not as good. I'm already getting like more overwhelmed. I don't know what the difference is between Hell on Earth and Suicidal. I know once you go up to suicidal from hard, you get uh, like new mechanics like the um, the uh, the crawlers and the the stalkers and stuff. They'll like flip and stuff to like hit, get more hits in every time they hit you. Um, and the gore fasts will like everything moves faster and the gore fasts um, will like. The Gorefast and the Gorefiend. The Gorefiends do their, like, spin to win, I think. Um, they, they get, like, non-parryable moments as well or something. It doesn't really affect me because I play Gunslinger, but I, th I think that uh, it, it's still... Let's, let's look it up. We're not, we're not going to pause yet. I can see out of the thing. Okay, Killing floor to difficulty scaling. Uh, difficulty, killing floor. What do the difficulties do? Difficulty modifiers. Um, so there's more mo there's more Zeds on Hell on Earth. Uh, the trader time is the same. They do more damage. They get a bigger chance to use their uh, their heart attacks. 
Um, they don't move faster. You get less dosh on Hell on Earth. Um, less items spawn and less ammo spawns. You take more damage if you hit yourself. And things spawn... Uh, I'm thinking that global spawn rate modifier is 0.68 in, instead of 0.7. Whatever the heck that means. So, by and large, the difficulty doesn't go up that much. Between Hell and Earth and, and, uh, and Suicidal. Strangely enough, you get less dosh, but you also get more zeds. So you kind of get more dosh. You know? And then, then it's not like more zeds is really that much harder. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll play Hell on Earth? I don't think it's... Like, it's not that hard, right? I think I'm good enough to play Hell on Earth. I mean, I know I am. It's just a matter of am I good enough to turn my brain off and forget that I'm playing Killing Floor 2 for uh, for a while? To get, like, more zeds at a time, perhaps? Is that what the global spawn modifier is? Perhaps. I, I don't know. Yeah, like, these guys do, like, that thing. So that's multiple hits in that sequence. Um, that happens in uh, in Suicidal. doesn't happen in Heart. And then it happens more often, I believe, in uh, Hell on Earth versus Suicidal. In, uh, in, in, uh, in Normal and Hard, they just do the flip, I believe. They don't do the weird spinny thing. Or maybe they do the weird spinny thing? I don't know. Stalkers and crawlers are the very, like the real difficulty jump when you go from hard to suicidal, though. For sure. They're brutal, dude. Because because in hard mode, the, the, the stalkers and the crawlers are like nothing. You know what I mean? And then you move up to suicidal, and they will be the death of you. Easily. You know? You can you can basically ignore them in hard. They don't they don't do much damage. But you hit uh, you hit suicidal, you hit hard. Nah, those things. They get so many more hits in, and the damage of it goes up. It's just, it's, it's brutal. It is brutal. Hell on Earth is still reasonably forgiving, though. I took, like, a husk shot, point blank, didn't die. That one would have killed me. But, uh, I didn't get hit by it, so it's not a problem. I don't, I think that the, the bosses might have more health as well. I hate the stupid Reeve coil. You know, when you're in Zed time, the recoil is... It, it, it doesn't, like, line up with what you see. You gotta, like, adjust it. I just I haven't gotten used to it yet. I don't play in groups, right? I don't, I don't play in uh, in groups. So, uh, I, don't, I don't get that much Zed time. You know, when you're, when, you're, when you're playing in a group and you got, like, a commando that's extending the Zed time, you get a lot more opportunity to practice. Whereas, uh, when you're playing by yourself, typically everything's dead when you get Zed time. Because you got a headshot and it died. Typically, you know? So it's not often that you end up getting like a, a flesh pound or something right on you in Zed time. It happens on occasion. You, we, we see it now and then, but it's not a it's not a frequent occurrence. Let's put it that way. It's a, it's an infrequent occurrence at best. Yeah, I'm purchasing armor. Get out of here, dude. Who do you think I am? Who do you think you are? I am. Where did that come from? So that's from a bowler, right? Who do you think you are? I am. You did like uh, what's what's it called when you get like a perfect game in? Or was it a perfect game? I don't know. He he was he was some bowler, and uh, he 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 bowled a really good game. And then at the end, he was just babbling incoherency because he was super excited about uh, his score. And I I believe at one point he's like, "Who do you think you are? I am." And it's just, uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Um, nobody knows what he was saying, but he was very happy about it. So it's a funny video. You should check it out. If that's where it's from. I mean, if it's not where it's from, like, the video exists. I just, I don't know. Maybe maybe he was referencing uh, something else in it? I do not know, dude. I do not know. But, uh, it's, it's a funny video. So it's just, it's just incoherent babbling. Maybe when, when you're that excited, when you, like, 
gets so worked up, it's it's hard to, you know, believe me, I know, it's, it's hard to put those emotions into, like, a coherent sentence, you know, when you're, like, super excited and having the, having such a great time like that is it's hard to hard to put that into into words and, and articulate your thoughts properly and coherently of course yes but at the same time it's pretty funny and I, I do it on occasion too okay you're allowed to laugh at me I don't care how many does it take watch them like gonna not shoot them enough times so I'm used to suicidal health No, that's fine. It's fine. I don't know how many shots it is, but uh, my muscle memory still works, I guess. So that's good. Yeah, Hell on Earth seems doable. We, we might stick with it. It's not even like... I'm not... It's a little bit longer because there's more Zeds to kill, but... Uh, yeah, difficulty's fine. I'd consider it uh, a reasonable difficulty. It's not that hard. For me, anyway. You know, somebody who's like... Just starting Killing Floor 2 probably sees this kind of stuff. And is like, not that hard! Are you what, mate? I get it, I get it. But uh, I, I think I think we might be able to move up to, to, to Hell on Earth. Honestly, my main motivator for wanting to is... Uh, I hate putting the suicidal. I put Sui, you know, hashtag Sui in, in the description of uh, in, in the description of the videos, just for the the tag, you know. I hate doing it because it's a, and I hate saying suicidal at the start of every video because I don't know, maybe the algorithm picks it up and it's like, oh, suicide. We'll uh, we'll we'll kill this video in the algorithm, you know. I don't know, man. So if we can move up to hell and earth, I think it's a little bit safer, perhaps, perhaps. You know, we got hell in there, but I, I talk about stuff way worse than hell all the time. Okay, we had a we had a video about boobs the other day. The algorithm already knows I'm, a, you know, not necessarily safe for uh, for the children kind of channel. <laughs> it's like the reason I have uh, two channels in the first place, you know. Oh, I'm not excited though. I got I got so much work to do on the Minecraft episode, man. It's just too much. I took on too much. I really did. Yeah, I've never built with quartz before, and uh, all I can all I can say is, is old me is smarter than new me because uh, old me didn't build with quartz. Just die, please. I beg you. Old me didn't build with quartz. New me did. New me is uh, demonstrably stupid. Come on. I've already invested too much time. It's like a sunk cost fallacy, you know. Oh my god. I'm getting overwhelmed. We have to. We have to go this way. We, have, we just, just. I'm just missing all my shots. Oh my god! What the heck is wrong with me? I can't shoot. Why can't I shoot? Why am I bad all of a sudden? It's like uh, there's a trigger in my brain that's just like, oh, uh, you were doing okay, but uh, now it's uh, it's actually illegal for you to perform as well as you were. Now that's bullet time. Did we get set time? I'm pretty sure we did not, right? Oh my god, that's so much damage. That's what I'm talking about, though, is the stupid stalkers, man. They do an enormous amount of damage when they do that stupid little flip. They catch you off guard and, and you're out. You're outie. There's a, uh, there's a trick. I get I get asked when I was when I was streaming how do you how do you talk so much for about stuff for so long it's uh, it's simple it's uh, it's simple so what you do is you pick up a question it doesn't have to be anything important okay just just any old question about literally anything uh, literally any question about literally anything okay so uh, you know we'll go for uh, sandwiches okay um, you know what's what's your favorite topping on a sandwich that's that's 20 minutes of content right there. Okay, that is 20 minutes of content right there. We can, we can talk about uh, you know favorite toppings on sandwiches. My favorite topping is definitely a tomato. 
I'm, I'm a big fan of tomato on sandwiches. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's like too juicy. Oh, dearie. A lot of people don't like it because it's, it's like too juicy and they don't like the sandwich being, you know, soggy or whatever. But, uh, and a nice tomato. A nice thick cut of tomato with, um, with, uh, with a bit of salt, a bit of pepper on it. It's just, it's delightful. There's, uh, there's a little better than that as a sandwich topping. Cucumber's also good. Although, same thing, you kind of, you need that salt and pepper. I think, I think sandwiches do better in general with salt and pepper. I think it's, I think it's an underappreciated sandwich condiment. Condiment is salt and pepper a condiment, though. Maybe. I know a lot, a lot of people put tomatoes on stuff and they don't salt them. That's a crime. I, I say. Your tomatoes should be salted. Propixelated is playing a runescape. Thank you for telling me, Steam. RuneScape's on Steam now, apparently. I'm never doing that. <laughs> I just don't need it. Um, yeah, I got the I got the, the fancy little normal launcher, you know? Um, people, put, people don't salt their tomatoes. You know, if you're putting tomato on it, I'm being sincere right now, okay? We got a terrible boss. Um, being totally sincere. You, you put tomato on uh, on your sandwich, on your burger, on your whatever. Okay? Just, uh... Salt it. Just salt it. I promise it'll be better. It just is. Um, yeah, cucumber, same thing. Cucumber is a little bit less ubiquitous, though. I think. Because, oh, okay. Uh, cucumber is a little bit less ubiquitous. Tomato, I can put on. You can put on a burger. You can put it on a veggie sandwich, on a steak sandwich. You can put tomato on. Um, you know, on anything you want. It'll, it'll go with pretty much anything, in my opinion, anyway. Cucumber is a little bit more, uh... Limited that. It's a little bit more restricted. You can't, uh, you can't, uh, you know, cucumber on a burger is... Not necessarily a, uh, I mean, I, th I think it'd be okay, but... It's not as, uh, sort of... Definitively great, you know? Whereas the, uh, the, the tomato on a burger, that's, that's a classic, uh, little... Um, you know, topping right there. Um, did they change the Glock reload yet? I don't think so. Um, you know, but, uh, but I think that when it works, tomato's probably better. But, uh, or when, when it works, cucumber's probably better. But, it only works in a few, you know, situations. Like, if you're having a veggie sandwich, cucumber, mmm, so good. But if you're having a veggie sandwich, tomato, it's okay. You know, it's okay, but I, the cucumber really adds a lot more than the tomato, in my opinion. The salt and pepper is the star of the show, always, on a on a sandwich, in my opinion. But I wouldn't really consider it to be like a topping, you know what I mean? I wouldn't really consider it to be a, a sandwich ingredient. More of just, uh, you know, put it on literally everything you eat, ever, basically. <laughs> um, if you just ask a question, then you just ramble about it. And, and there's your 20 minutes of content. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Probably going to be playing Suicidal, though. It was fine, but it just it's a 28-minute video, so I'll go back to Suicidal. Bye.